Hey, what's up? Time for the real stream. Also, my activity feed is blocking out. It's weird. Let me refresh this real quick. Twitch is being weird. It thinks it's playing a video. But it's not. I'm not happy about it. Ah, there we go. That's weirder, but it'll do, I guess. No, it won't. One sec. There we go. All right. No. God, I hate Twitch's whole interface. Fuck. All right, there. Now it's paused. I can't see the preview unless I maximize the window. It's really strange. All right. I'm waiting for my dogs to finish eating right now. We finally found a flavor uh, that they both love and aren't getting tired of. Is the kibbles and bits bacon? It's honestly hard to shop for good food um, within a poor person's um, price range. Especially when you have two dogs with very different tastes. The one thing they can agree on is bacon. Seems reasonable. Hey, demon dog. Hey, September. Ah. All the dogs will be eating. Even the demon ones. They're almost done. And then we can start on some, <clears throat> let me, we can start on, this is the wrong title. I have not set anything up. We can start on some <clears throat> Resident Evil 4. Gotta add an echo to that. All done, Yasin? Who's a good boy? How about you, Rizvi? They're eating fast. All right, let's see. Well, Yasin's definitely done, huh? Now let's see about Rizvi. Is Rizvi all done? You are the boy. There we go. Got a migraine, took a pill for it, eating a snack, hoping things turn around. For now, though, let's uh, get this game started. I'm going to have to turn the cap on the frame rate down to 60, since y'all won't be able to see anything more than that anyway. Why is it putting itself in dedicated full screen mode? I keep telling it not to. Ah, that moves all this other shit around. Well, that might be because it has HDR on, never mind. Which I also need to turn off, or it's going to be gray as shit. Let's see, capture Resident Evil, comma, 4. Okay. Something went wrong. All right, there we go. And yeah, that's all faded out on y'all screens. Let's turn off HDR. And drop the frame rate down to 60. There's a bug with ray tracing where it'll just cr have a DirectX error and crash. And that's weird that they haven't fixed that yet. Because it's also present in Resident Evil 2 and 3. Yeah, where was HDR in here? Is it under display? Yeah, it is. That's bizarre. Wow. 
That looks so much better on y'all's screen and so much worse on mine. That's fun. I was also very excited for it, and I'm now excited to get further. I'm gonna die a lot. I'm gonna promise y'all that. I'm gonna die continuously because I am playing it on hardcore, which requires you to know all the tricks from the original. And I know those tricks, but that doesn't mean I'm gonna get them right every time. Oh, what Silent Hill? What which which Silent Hill are you thinking about? All right, content warning. Human sacrifice. I got into this early. Lots of blood, lots of gore. Um, parasitic creatures, dead animals, dead humans. Um, cult behavior. September 30th, 1998. Lots of them. It's a day I'll never forget. The cop inside me died that day. That night, Raccoon City was wiped out, thanks to the bioweapons created by Umbrella. Somehow I made it out, but too many others weren't so lucky. I was asked later to join a top secret government program. Not that I had a choice. The training, punishing missions, nearly killed me. But at least I kept my mind off everything. If I could just forget what happened that night, the pain, even for a second, this time, it can be different. It has to. So tell me, Yankee. Why did you come to this horrible place? As close to nowhere that I've ever seen. Let's just say, looking for someone. That someone must be very important, huh? The chief gave the orders himself. Help him, he said. I'm sure your boys didn't come all the way out here to roast marshmallows. <laughs> Maybe you did. You have a strange sense of humor. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret, just between us. A lot of people have gone missing around here, and it's been that way for a while now. Well then, it should be just another day in the office, right? Mm. I mean, last week there was a search for some missing hikers. I'm sure you'll do your best to help me. <laughs> Wow, they sound like people, instead of just mocking Leon relentlessly. Now they're people who uh, act believably shitty. Nature calls, huh? I'll be right back. Qué frío. ¿Te has bebido el bar entero? You smoke? Vaya sitio más tétrico. Hey, ¿hay alguien ahí? He sure is taking his time. Did he fall in? 
Maybe you better go and take a look. Oh, watch the car. Wouldn't want to get a parking ticket. So much for helping me. All right, here we go. Now, I'm going to point out something as we go that I think is really interesting. All the things from the beginning of Resident Evil 4 are here. Just a little off. Hi, Andy. As in, these things are out of order. And it's really off putting if you're super familiar with the first game or the original game. How far could he have gone? See, already at the gate. Over here, we've got Animal Corpse. Because every new Resident Evil's got to have an Animal Corpse at the start now. All right, so crouching is how you disguise your footsteps, which does actually allow for a good degree of stealth gameplay. <clears throat> now, what I thought was really, well, we'll get to it. I'll point it out when we get to it. There's a really clever, like, technical reference to the original game coming up. Like walking into a room you think you know the dimensions of. Yeah. Anyone home? No one in here? Judgment is nigh. Not ominous. Fine. There's gonna be a, an easy mission, just in and out. And see through there. So that actually brings up another thing. Resident Evil 4 is the earliest game I can think of where when you saw holes in the wall like this, you could always shoot through them. And that seems like a small thing now. Don't have the key for this one. Hasta el fin viveremos contigo. No temeros. I don't know what that says, and there's not a translation. But you do actually get to see lots of, like, Spanish writing in this. In a way that was uh, missing in the original. Only two days from retirement. And by the weekend, you'll be fishing on that island you always dreamed of. Exactly. Here's the familiar scene. The house is much bigger this time. Uh, sorry to barge in like this. I think the game volume needs to be a little higher. Looks like it's very, very quiet at the moment. I'm going to turn it up just a little bit. There we go. 
Fucking roundhouse, reverse roundhouse kick him into the wall and break his fucking neck. This is not good. All right, now we've got our gun drawn. See, if he was a cop, he would have drawn his gun immediately and shot without checking. National Police Corps. Mario Fernandez Castaño, police officer. I don't think there's anything else in this room. Let me take a quick look. Let me do a quick once over because it's very easy to miss stuff. Man, that stinks. Rotten food, a staple of the series. So we're not going to do a lot of upgrading on this pistol. Although they did make it so when you sell a weapon, you get almost everything back that you put in. So it's harder to fuck yourself over by upgrading the wrong weapon. So this pistol is only got to get some minor upgrades. So we get the Punisher and then the uh, Red 9. Red 9 being my favorite. I've been told the guns function almost exactly like they did in the original, so I've got a good idea of what I want. But I can upgrade the uh, the sniper rifle now without fear of not having enough for the uh, uh, the semi-automatic rifle. And I think that's pretty cool. Man, that guy's dead. That guy is dead as hell. I read you. What's your situation? What the hell's going on? Lots of nooses, hanging bones. Escape from the hunter's lodge. Doesn't that look like that goes somewhere? There should be a hidden door between them. B -b -b a hidden door behind them. Oh, oh shit. No oh, fuck. That's alright. I can still counter. All right, I think I got him. Yeah, it's not quite as grisly as Resident Evil 2's animations, but I cannot fault anyone for not going into that much detail. That one was almost too much. All right, what do we got here? Anything back here that I can get? No? Okay. Ah, shit. I can hear him. Oh, hi. How are you gentlemen? You know, just going around, killing people. Huh. They weren't in here the first time. Bullets don't work very well in Resident Evil. Well, these aren't just regular humans. These are totally not zombies is what's going on here. That's something that they make sure to tell you in the original, is that they're not zombies. They just move and... I can't get through there. They just move and act and react exactly like zombies, but they're not zombies. There are more bullets around here. 
Or am I gonna have to scooch past some people? There's an herb. That's that's gonna be a help. Be a help. I like that. You got one bullet, Leon. Make it count. My man's put his whole head in landscape mode. Oh no. They're literally held together by the bugs in them. Fucking bizarre. This is Gondor 1. Hunting in here? It's a very that? cool version of zombies. Baby Eagle. It's likely she's in this village. Our intel was correct then. Well done. Need a location on a nearby. Hunnigan no longer has the, the TV static um tattoo on her face. Hurry up. Something's happened to the people here. My escorts are. Well shit. Here's Johnny. Like a for real here's Johnny moment. Okay, so watch this. This is a cool reference. Watch what this guy does. So if you didn't catch that, which I'm sure a lot of people don't, that's what happens in the original game when you get outside of one of their aggro ranges. The exact animation. Hmm. And man, I thought that was hilarious. The people who made this clearly loved the game. Hey, okay, now here's the bridge. Now there is something upsetting ahead. Don't know if these guys can actually drop ammo or not. I guess let's find out. I only have one bullet anyway. Oh, I sure can. I can at least get money out of the crows. Oh, gunpowder, that works. We'll be shooting a lot of crows. Not something I'd want to do in real life, because crows are awesome. All right, there we go. Now we've got some fucking bullets. And look at that. We're now in the first cabin um, from the first game, right down to the typewriter, which is unmissable. Right, just make sure the typewriter is pointing straight at you. All right, customize the case. Let's switch over to the gold case, which I got for the pre-order, even though it wasn't a pre-order. Well, no, it was. I actually bought it like six hours ahead of time. There it is. So that lets us craft more um, ammo, which is cute. You get three bonuses, basically, as you collect more um, dangly bits. You can have them steal money in exchange for shiny things. That's very true. All right, so I'm just going to save over my old save, because this is the one I'm doing now. Well, they heard me. Oh, no. Oh, here's the upsetting thing. We're not going to dwell on it. Remember how you saved the dog in the original game? Don't worry. that That's not the same dog. I'm still sad about it. Here. Okay, Risby, that's just people out next door. All right, I remembered this. Now this, this stuff here looks very different from the original game. 
So if you feel like you don't recognize some stuff, that's why. It's kind of like a remix. It's almost like a Zelda second quest, but for RE4. Luckily, I had that one spoiled for me pretty early on in previews. Ah. Uh, talking about changes from the original version. Oh, you can already see me. That's no fun. Oh, shit. It didn't let... So what I've just learned is that it does not let you parry here. The knife parry is such a lifesaver. The thing that burns your knife the fastest is um, grab counterattacks, grapple counterattacks. So you want to try and get the jump on people before they manage to actually hit you. This is my parry animation. Hi there. Remember this in the original game? I know you're there. Can I come around and see me? All right. Was not fast enough to kick him, apparently. I'm sure the suplexes will still be available once we reach the castle. Hey, it's a flash grenade. And like a spinning wheel. Flash grenade is super fucking useful in the village. The village fight is way fucking more intense than in the original. Sec. Departed USPS destination facility to the dis... Okay, yeah. Just got a package coming in tomorrow. It's so, the custom frame for the 3D printer. Also... You can chamber a shell. See that? 10 plus 1. I thought that was a really, really cool new feature. It's such a small thing. Oh no, ahead. Maybe you should have quit while you were still ahead. <laughs> All right, coming up on the village. We're going to do the regular way. This might take me a few tries. There is no way to stop that, by the way. That guy right there, totally fucking immune to... He's immune to all bullets until the fire is set. <clears throat> Believe me, I've tried. Ooh, we're getting some slightly dipping frame rates. That's in-game, not via Twitch. Oh, it's not huge. Fucking ruthless. Oh, and this regular version of the um, village is far closer to the mercenaries mode from the original, where it's got just certain parts of it that are extended. There's a guy around this corner who will spot me if I go that way, so. We're going this way to see if I can find... 
you know, some money. I guess. If we go that way or that way, he will spot us. Let's see if I can get him on camera. Yeah. And he just stands there staring that way the whole time. I could run up and stab him, but he would very likely alert everyone before I got him. So what we're going to do is go around the other side. There's a way to set the cow on fire. Which is actually like a big strategic advantage, but I don't know how to do it. This is one I was shown. I cannot get to the... Oh, whoops. That sucks. Here we go. Wow. Nice critical. And an egg. Oh, shit. No, get off me. Ah, fuck. Yeah, you can't parry here. That's wild. That's so strange. I guess you can't parry until the game tells you how to. Oh, no. There we go. By the way, every time you kill one... Another spawns in. Oh, fuck. Rude. I was trying to stop the, the, the hatchet the guy threw at me. Oh, my God. I am getting frame rate drops real fucking bad during this. I'm gonna see what I can lower to see if I can fix that. Hey, Mox. Yeah, we're gonna see if I can fix some of these frame rate drops. I was expecting this to look a little better. Let me just hit... Um, turn off the preview and see if that helps. Because that is not ideal what was happening there. No, now it's even lower. What the hell? Why is it sitting at 45 FPS? Maybe that's all the smoke. All right, let's see how we can improve that. Um, graphics. Uh, we're locked at 60. I can try it in full screen mode. Rendering mode. I have eight gigs of, of uh, video memory. What the fuck? Lower the mesh quality? Wait, what? Okay, that doesn't actually alter it. <laughs> Shadow quality? Not a huge thing. Contact shadows. Ambient occlusion. That's a tiny difference as well. Particle lighting quality. No change. Volumetric lighting. Well, we can turn it to mid anyway. Green space reflections, that's not changing anything. Subsurface scattering, not changing anything. Air strands. This option can only be changed from the main menu. Oh no, that's probably it, huh? Graphic dismemberment on or off. Persistent corpses, that's fine. Motion blur is off. A bunch of these can only be changed from the main menu. 
and it's ones that don't make a lot of sense to me. Basically anything that puts load on the on the GPU. That's strange. I want a game where you can set mesh quality to wiggles. I mean there's ooblets. These are all CPU options that can be changed here. We'll try it and see if it gets real bad again. I have a feeling it will. And that happens whether you look through the binoculars or not. You know what? This is really bad. I'm going to see if I can change some of the GPU stuff down a bit. This quality starts at Wiggles. That's true. All right, let's say... Uh, Let's let's see. There we go. I don't want this game to run like shit. Resource intense, yada yada. Depth of field. Lens distortion. Lens flare. Destructible environment. See, it's showing the right. Um, showing different. Um, graphic memory. That's kind of strange. Terrain, tessellations to enhance terrain objects. Ah, I see. Oh, that looks so good, though. None of these are changing the amount of uh, GPU used. Rain quality. We're not. We're not raining right now. Persistent corpses. Many. Hair strands. Oh, I can turn off hair strands, and that lowers some. That lowers some CPU and GPU uses. Subsurface scattering. All right, let's see if hair saves the day. This game's hair strand rendering actually looks good. which is not something I can say of literally any other game. All right, now we're holding a stable 60. That's a good sign. I think it was the hair all along. Just like in Stranger of Paradise. Well, that guy's dead. Hi, chicken. And then I stab this person. Alright, now we gotta... Go over here. Go in here. Now it's possible to stealth quite a bit of this area if you get it just right. I like that I can quickly switch between the knife and the gun. Gun. Knife. Gun. Knife. Ah, ah, ah. You don't know they're dead for sure until they're room temperature, unless that's for freezing. <laughs> cannot, cannot stab her just yet. She mostly just wanders back and forth asking who's there. But that can become a problem in and of itself. Eh, 
She's gonna see me anyway. Let's just let's just do this. Ah. Oh shit. Well, I fucked that up right away, huh? Oh, there we go. Boom! Just gonna flip right past you. Grab the ranch. Ah, shit. Well, that man is dead. Hey, bad road. Oh, yeah. Parrying is awesome. And pretty easy, too. Oh, no. It's Dr. Salvador. The richest man in town. It's my lucky day. Oh, I could block that, but that's okay. I'm not gonna hole up in here. Okay, here we go. Register that to two. There we go. Whoops. Hold down, tap Q. There we go. Now I should do this just real quick. shells oh shit oh shit yep I'm screwed nope nope I got this it's fine oh shit oh shit stabber it's fine it's fine Oh god, they're all up here. Oh, dang. Week or two, I saw you shoot a chainsaw guy with a mine thrower, and the mine explodes while he's cutting your head off. The game crashes. That's wonderful. The game does not understand. All right, good. The game's still keeping a fairly stable 60. It's gagging occasionally, but not too bad. So this is how you sneak up on people really fast. I'm just going to show you all how this works. As long as they don't see you, they won't react until they turn around, even if they hear you. Hey, resources. Now I can make bullets. There she is. She just runs around shouting, Donde esta?
There we go. Now we can collect more stuff so that we're less likely to die. Bedpans and plungers and ball peen hammers and spackle. Yes, exactly. Where is she? Dyslexia, fail me now. There we go. She looks really similar to... I forgot her name, and I don't just want to call her Ethan's wife. Let's see. Mia, thank you. But she just looks like a very old version of Mia. Just kind of weird. Chicken, don't give me away. All right, we got this now. I was running through every woman in RE8 in my head. I still really hate. Oh, I remember how to set the cow on fire. Uh, again, remember, this is just a video game. Sometimes I have to remind myself that when I when I kill animals in games. It's just a game. And thank you, Andy. <clears throat> so, uh, let's do this. Fill me for the repairs later. Oh, shit. No, go the other way and, uh... Oh, he doesn't leave the barn, apparently. Oh, there he goes. Yeah. Rampaging cow on fire. Oh, God. Shit. Also, you can't parry grapples. Whoops. That's nice. The way gemstone inlays work is different in this game, too. Very much for the better. Oh, fuck. Can't believe I just did that again. Well, knife's broken. Forcible. Alright. Perry Grapple here for Perry Grapple's Fairy Apples, the finest produce this side of the Baywild. I like that one. Alright, let's block off downstairs. By the way, if you don't do enough shooting here and leave Salvador alive, oops, then he'll actually start knocking down chunks of the village. And I think that's very lovely. Get out of here. Here we go. Get out of here. Oh, hey, Dr. Salvador. Well, I'm going to go down here real quick. Flip right by you. Just need to, to get that ranch behind you. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, 
Fuck. Yep. All right, got to work on that aim a bit. It's okay. This is like the hardest part of the beginning of the game. And I appreciate that. Um, don't have enough for shotgun shells. No, just go past him. It's fine. I'm going back up here real quick. Don't worry about it. This is what the difficulty setting actually does. And it's described as such. Let's see you climb this. They can't. It's been knocked over, Leon. That's silly. Oh shit. Yep. Oh god. Oh god. Get out of here. Fuck off. And he kind of looks like the dad from uh, Resident Evil 7. Oh fuck. an egg. Let's eat the egg. Hurry, Leon. Eat that entire raw egg. All right, I have these. Shit. I should be using them. Oh, fuck. Who is throwing hatchets? All right, let's go up here. And then kick the ladder down. There we go. And this is in real time now, by the way. Huh? La campana. Al que me defenda. Él nos invoca. Isn't that wild how it just lets this part start in real time? No, they are speaking proper Spanish. Mexican Spanish, I believe. Here's the line. Where's everyone going? Bingo? Resident Evil 4. Oh, they did fix the Spanish in this? Okay, that's good. I can't tell the difference by ear because I don't speak um, any kind of Spanish. I've identified a route to the lake. Look for a large windmill. There's a path on the far side of it. Whoops. Copy that. And be careful. <laughs> Glad that got a laugh. What's interesting is the traps don't do actual damage in this one. They just hold you in place for a sec. 
Which I guess means Leon has the most invincible gams. Hunnigan's still on the line while he gets his foot out, right? Hunnigan's... You know, the part of Europe where they can speak Spanish. I believe it's supposed to be in Spain specifically. Alright. So now we're gonna look at the map. It does mark everything. Not just important things. It actually marks fucking everything, and I really appreciate it. See, over here, it marks these uh, these bullets for... Oh, that's gunpowder. It doesn't mark gunpowder. Can't get up there. That's where the bullets were. Okay. There's uh, handgun ammo where I am now. Naming my next throwaway online account Leon's Invincible Gams. <laughs> okay, now I see where the map is pointing me for some bullets. Need some bullet. I think. There it is. Right, ammo is red. Violets are blue. Sorry, velvets are blue. Ah, uh, see? Bullets are red, velvets are blue. All right, it's got to be a way to finish this up. All right, there's some shells in here I missed. Over behind the, the stairs. Oh. Oma e wa mou shinderu. Very nice. Oh, shit. All right. Shotgun goes to second shortcut. A couple shells in there. Reload everything as much as I can. This game does allow you to just stockpile ammo in places, but then it gets to a point where you have to use a lot of ammo, and they've done a pretty good job balancing it so far. There we go. Like, I'm a, I'm a good ways in. I was at chapter 5 out of 16. I think it's 16. And, like, I've been really impressed with how they've handled all this stuff. Okay, we hadn't gone through here, right? Excellent. So there's stuff to be found. The map only marks things when you get within their vicinity. And it doesn't mark barrels. They, they're also using the yellow paint to uh, point out interactables and breakables, which is great for anyone who does not have Tritonopia. I just saw a ruby there. I just saw a ruby. Where is the ruby? Give me the ruby. It showed up as an interactable. There was a ruby. Y'all saw it. Why is there no ruby? Did I accidentally already pick it up? Am I mashing a button? Yeah, I've got two rubies. Okay, never mind. I just picked it up without realizing. I'm so, so glad. I was a little worried with this one. It really sounds like they've nailed it from everything I've heard. Yeah, that's... I'm really fucking impressed. I will stand by saying that Resident Evil 4 is a bad game that I really love playing. This game takes that and makes it into a good game that I really love playing. Here's the tower. We can't go in here yet. They really managed to capture a balance between silliness and scariness. And that is a hard thing to do. But, like, I'm laughing at the things they want me to laugh at. Intense scenes are the scenes that are intended to be intense. And the controls are much better. And admittedly, um, RE4's controls, the game was built for them, so they worked. 
But honestly, I much prefer having good controls with a game based around those good controls. RE4 had some of the most awkward tank controls in the series. And you know me, I'm down for some tank controls. But RE4 is, like, I gotta admit, they wear on you after a while. Foreign comedy share a lot of traits that are that are hard to mix. Very much so. I cannot believe how much fucking disabling stranded hair uh, fixes this shit. Why is hair so fucking bad to render? Oh, fucking hate it. What was this one? All right, that's the tower. There it is. We've also learned that it's difficult to like 3D print, though Alice figured out a way to do that, which is pretty amazing. I have some very skilled and talented sisters. But me, I play the video game. All right, here we go. Wow. All right, we're like half an hour out from the from shutting this off, too. <laughs> Wasn't that village fight just so good there, though? Okay, um, the blue medallions are here. There's not as many, though. I remember that. There's like five instead of like a million. I get that with my knife? No, I don't have a knife. I forgot I broke my knife. Oh yeah, also there's dudes here that I need to watch out for. Ah, shit. Oh god, I tried to parry. There we go. Get them criticals off. Let's eat this egg just real quick. Can we eat the egg? Yeah? Alright, cool. I'm glad. Well, they also made getting a golden egg easier. There's a specific area where one always gets laid. Thank you, September. Thank you, Andy. I appreciate it. Let's see. Ah, oh, it's locked. I noticed. Um There's not a good reason why Leon can't kick through a lot of these doors. Especially since the original game, you could just take chunks out of some doors with a gun. There's another blue. So what we need to find is the actual mission to get these. Oh, hey, another egg. <clears throat> and then once we get the mission... Oh, it's not... I thought I saw one. <clears throat> but once we uh, get the mission, it'll mark them all on the map, I believe. And that mission is hanging somewhere around here. Lots of skeletons. Pick up all the egg. Ah, and see, they've changed this puzzle around a bit. Now we just wait until the uh, lantern goes around to the right side. And drop it on the ground instead of into the, uh, instead of into the mud. There's a lot of the same puzzles and a lot of very different puzzles. Some of the original puzzles have been omitted because they were terrible. Hey, there was something in here. There's kind of a crap puzzle coming up that I 
took me way too long to figure out. That's in chapter four, though, so it's a ways out. Hello, Piggo. Do not worry, I come in peace. There it is. All right, now this is going to mark all of the blue medallions on our map. For the love of God, will somebody please get rid of the blue medallions, those religious lunatics left hanging around? And you get spinels, which you can trade to the merchant for special items. Oh, fuck, I remember this. Oh, no. This part's rough. Can't use that yet. We need a specific key for those. Can't get in that way. Nothing. No one's here. Does this have the village flashy map to show you where the shinies are? Yes. In fact, it does. Okay, I knew I saw one in the fucking barn. <laughs> Left side, high up. Low down. Somewhere over the rainbow. <laughs> Dyslexia? Fuck. If someone's able to point it out to me, I uh, would not mind. I know I'm missing this. I know it's incredibly obvious because I did it once before. Is that the wrong? No, that's. I'm facing the right way. There it is. Okay, it's on the back of the fucking hole. That's why. Ah, damn it. No. The, go other side, Leon, please. The first time I played RE4 and went looking for the blue medallions, I didn't realize that the map would just show me all of them. That's no good. Close enough that I can shoot her through the window? No. I think she's upstairs. Oh, no, there she is. Yeah, yeah, I heard it before. Remember, Bad Road specifically said that uh, someone was shocked that the enemies could take three shots to the face without stunning? My experience with a basic pistol is that you shoot them twice in the face and they stun automatically. There we go. This is the way to go. Oh, oh, breakables. Lots of resources. Beautiful. Do I have enough gunpowder to make shotgun shells yet? I do not. I have 10 and I need 12. And don't worry, we will be able to repair that knife and make it sturdier as we go. Also, this game allows you to do this. I think that's a great quality of life improvement. All I can tell you is what he said. Fair enough. It's possible he was missing or shooting too slowly. Because they have to be in the stagger position when the second shot hits. Alright, let's craft... Um, I don't have a red herb right now, that's fine. Let's put this together in any case to free up space.
I don't hate the inventory system in this by any stretch, but I'm not as into it as a lot of people are. I think it's a good system. Just like, let's say, the Xenon Fiber system. They're a good system. All right. Need a, need a cog, probably a wooden cog. So there's a few enemies who do some spawn in, in this area. Including a new guy that I believe is new to this version. I'm going to be real embarrassed if someone points out that they're actually from the original. Because I played the fuck out of it. On and off stream. I enjoy it, but not as much as the save room game that takes it and properly puzzlifies it. Yeah, I'm th I've actually been thinking about playing that. I think it sounds real interesting. Still three kicks to break a lock, by the way, every time. It's almost as though it's like that to throw off new players. Another ruby. Over here we got gunpowder. Ah, now we have a spare knife. Kitchen knives are disposable, by the way. These are things that you just use in place of your regular knife, and they're not as strong. But they're still pretty cool. Ah, shit. God damn. Up here, bud. Get down. No, no, this is my ladder. Fuck off. They keep coming. Oh, fuck. Messed that one up big time. I should have... I don't think you can counter those. Um, eat the egg. Everybody eat the egg. There we go. There we go. See that perfect parry mid-shot? Oh, fuck. Yep, I'm, I'm dead. I'm gonna die real hard. There we go. Fuck that guy. Boom! Shit. There. See what I mean about it eating up your ammo after you stockpile it? It strikes a real nice balance. That's true. <laughs> Get down. Very nice. At least Leon has his herbs. Yeah, he does love his herbs. Aw, it's got yellow on it, though. All right, now the doors are open. Let me see what's doable upstairs here. Anything else that I missed? Why, yes, ammunition. The Resident Evil flow, and yeah, they've really, they've really hit it this time. 
like Resident Evil 3 remake, the 3 make is tends to give you way too much. And in Resident Evil 2, you're always struggling, and that works with those games. But this one really rewards, like... It really rewards you finding all the ammo and also shooting accurately. And that's nice. There we go. Big cog. Alright, I think that's everything available right now. There's a locked treasure over there, which I think needs a small key. No, wait, that's the one that needs the, um... The specific, um... Symbol key. Yeah, that's that one. Gotta walk down the stairs in the windmill. What am I thinking? Or drop down the ladder, actually. There we go. Spacely Sprockets would like to warn you about the dangers of Big Cog. Oh, fuck. I thought Spacely was Big Cog. Mr. Spacely! I remember the Jetsons movie. The sprocket locket locker key goes right in my front pocket. You make sprockets. You're thinking of Cogsworth Cogs. Ah, right. I feel like I've never thought about how windmills are mills that mill flour. Yeah. They can be used for other things, but that's generally their purpose, is to mill various oats. Alright, that's where we're going. We can find that out, because this says Lago. Link's gotta be this which, way. that one gets helpfully translated, unlike the one at the beginning. I think this is... Yeah. You ever thought about how the sprocket locket locker key goes right in your front pocket? That's a wild fucking song. Way too clever for what it's in. Then again, I can honestly say that about a lot of... Um, Slightly more obscure Hanna-Barbera stuff. Some of it's almost too clever. Can't drop down here, can I? No. And are we done sneaking? Over here we have another gunpowder. Hooray! Right, don't want to have an empty shotgun when I need it. Shotguns are the ones I use the least, I think. They're most useful in the castle. We'll see if that continues to be the case. Oops. Ah, push. That is a dead cow. It's a lot of dead animals. Oh yeah, and all the quick time events have been removed. That's the thing that I was most excited about, I think. I got to places where there were previously quick time events, and there were none. All right, can I just make... I'm not going to be able to make both handgun and shotgun shells. So I'll wait until I know what we're doing. Agarradlo. It's 
So you just use your regular dodge for that shit. Also, they don't throw boulders at you. Ooh, nice accuracy. Oh, hi. That man is dead. Anyone else trying to gonna try and come in behind me? It is the twenties, and there is no longer time for quick time events. Yep. Oh fucking hell! All right, fine. Kitchen knife to the neck. Their movement gets more erratic once their uh, head pops. As one can imagine. All right. Can I not do green, green, yellow? I thought I could, like, specifically. Oh, there it is. <laughs> the more powerful the herb you mix the yellow with... Um, the more H, the more max HP you get from it. By the way, also a nice feature. I hear you. I uh, could have kicked her. That's fine. It's okay to waste ammo sometimes, right? Dodge and parry is just regular functions. Exactly. Um, anyway, yeah, I just used up my kitchen knife. That's a shame. No more parries. Not until we find the merchant. The merchant. There we go. Gotta get that right. And now we're only really losing, um, now we're only really dropping a frame, our in-game frame rate. Specifically when we're loading new areas, and that's perfectly acceptable. I will not shoot the bats. I wouldn't shoot the crows, but they drop good loot. Oh, fuck. You remember this part of the original game? This is also sooner than it was in that. Oh, come on. Rude. Oh, fuck. You know what? That one's on me. That one is on me. Ah, oh, fuck. Out of ammo. Out of ammo. Fuck. Ah. I died, but I did manage to lead him into the trap. All right. The checkpointing is pretty good, though. Someone tried shooting the bats. It doesn't work. Excellent. Bats are immune to bullets because they don't believe in them. I'm okay with all of this. Let's see. Craft... We're just gonna need a bunch of handgun ammo, so let's let's do it. Damn it! Couldn't get couldn't couldn't get the shot. Damn it! Oh. Oh, it's mean. Oh, 
How come that didn't set off the trap? He stepped on it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take a different tack on this one. Apparently this guy in particular is just immune to bear traps. getting this I'm out see what I mean about the game being much harder than the original <laughs> it makes you feel like uh, like a professional without making you feel like a superhero I think that's an important distinction in a horror game. Oh shit, why did I move left? I saw it was to my left. Oh, come on. I thought it was further left. Okay, again, doesn't do damage, doesn't matter. Come on. There we go. Pull out another stick of dynamite. I'm not doing so good at that one. Oh, well. It's fine. I'm still alive for some reason. It tends to put you down to 1 HP a lot. I wonder if stepping on a bear trap will kill you when you're at 1 HP. Oh hey, I did kill the guy, good. Who the fuck is the last person? On the roof? Is she on the roof? Oh wait, I know where she is. So, stepping in the bear trap at 1 HP will not kill you. That's a good thing to know. Beautiful. Oh, good. Wow, that is a hell of a snore, Risby. Uses more bullets, but still fun to watch. I know a cultist with a wooden leg named Smith. Why did he name his wooden leg Smith? You'd have to ask him. He's the one dragging the bear trap around. Oh. All right, all right. We're good, we're good, we got this. 
Here's the lake. I don't think it's doing so well. Alright, so if we head back around this way, we find a locked door, specifically an insignia door. This the place? Wait, let me look around outside to see if I can spot anything. Any treasure. Never hurts to stock up. I mean, unless you get shot. Then it hurts. You know, we'll, uh... We'll break down that door when we get to it. Another one of these. Don't have that key either. Clearly see the person making the hammering sound. We're going into this ready. One more. Don't have a small key. Anything on the map that I didn't get that I need to? Nope. Excellent. Faint beeping. Aw, oh, man, I love faint beeping. It means I get to do that. I wonder if they still explode if you shoot them. Oh, one way to find out, right? Hey, they do! Sweet, I can use that to my advantage. I hadn't even thought of that. There's a doll. It's cute. Well, that sure is a picture. Not creepy at all. I distinctly remember that I could not um, stab this guy, but I don't have a knife anyway, so it doesn't matter. I'm gonna shoot him in the butt. Oh yeah, bright red blood stain on his cheek. I like that they still have infinite um, hatchets and dynamite that they just pull out of their pockets. All right, anything I miss in here? Nope. All right. We're almost to the end of the chapter, which is where I'll call it. Hey, look who it is. That hurts, you know? Seem like you really wanted to talk. How observant, senor. Now, uh, say, uh, you got a smoke? You know, those things will kill you. Oh, well, maybe just untie me then, huh? <clears throat> Joder, not this guy! Oh, shit. Just stop right there! <clears throat> Gives no fucks. That's our first tyrant of the game. There are a couple more. Reverend X. 83.1% <laughs> accuracy, not bad. All right, typewriter, save game. 
And uh, that's it for now. I'm going to be back at 8.30 if all goes to plan. Remember that there is a civil rights movement happening around the country and the wider world. Black Americans, people of color, are fighting for things that should never have to be fought for. Things like equal rights, equal treatment under the law, and not be attacked, terrorized, and even murdered by the police. We've got some ways listed here that you can help, including the Bail Fund Network to help keep protesters out of jail, the Okra Project, and the Black Trans Travel Fund to help black trans and non-binary people with food, supplies, and travel out of dangerous situations. And the Black Hills Legal Fund. That's how it's pronounced. I couldn't pronounce the words for a second. The Black Hills Legal Fund. The Lakota People's Fund to take back their land, the Six Grandfathers. It was stolen by white people and arbitrarily renamed to Mount Rushmore. And had some white slave owners' faces carved into the side of it. Under the Second Commander, more ways you can help. These are all kept up to date by my sub September. It's the... Eternal September. The Eternal September in chat. This headache pill is hitting me really hard all of a sudden. Uh, it is the Eternal September in chat. Please let her know if there's anything else that needs to go here. Black lives matter. The lives of people of color matter. Indigenous lives and lands matter. Asian and Pacific Islander lives matter. These are things we do got to keep saying and pushing and fighting for until the people all the way up to the very top not only understand and acknowledge them, but work to make them real protected truths. All right, like I said, I'm going to be back in about 90 minutes. Um... Uh, so, uh, I guess I'll see you then. All right. All right. Bye.